Hey guys, Jeremy here, and this is my review for Supernatural Season 13. I noticed, particularly after the midway mark, I noticed a lot of you guys kind of stopped watching what I was saying, mainly because of my criticism of the season. And But actually looking at it, doing all the numbers and everything, the season actually wasn't that bad up until the halfway point. Before that, there was only two bad episodes being eight, and three. There actually was some decent episodes in this. Some of them weren't the greatest. Uh, there were some returns that really were not warranted. There were some storylines that were for filler episodes that were actually really good. Some of the story aspects with Jack, in fact, actually played out a lot better than I thought. However, the main narrative literally turned this entire season into a fan fiction project. The amount of retcon material in this entire season is borderline pathetic in terms of just how lacking in creativity and just literally being fan fiction writing. For instance, these characters died last season. Oh yeah, there's, you know, there's Mick, if any of you remember him. And of all those ones who actually stayed dead, it's Mick, of course, but then Crowley. Otherwise, not only have these three characters come back, but so did Bobby, so did Charlie, so did fucking Amanda Tapping's character, whatever her name was. So did fucking Gabriel, which was a major fucking pisser. That's one that was not the greatest by far. But in terms of stories that actually were not bad, Rowena's return, while that was really stupid in terms of just her coming back to life again, she has definitely become one of the best reoccurring characters in this show. I didn't like her too much when she was first introduced all those seasons back, but now she's really come into being one of my favorite characters on this show, and that's rare to say, because usually when a character is awful, like Ketch, they stay awful, like Ketch. But Rowena has actually really turned herself around, and she's definitely one of the best characters in this show. Castiel's revival was eh, but admittedly that episode with The Empty was actually a really cool episode, visually and just in terms of a very interesting aspect. They didn't explain everything about what that was. That's cool mystery writing. You don't have to lay it all out like an Ikea book in terms of how to construct it. You don't need that, and that's what they did. They left it as a mystery. Oh, Jensen Ackles' wife was in this, remember? And then she just disappeared. There is so many aspects to this season that were narrative, like main narrative shit that was dropped. I actually forgot a bunch. One of them being those weird tremor demon things that Asmodeus wanted Jack to open up at the very beginning of the season. Do any of y'all remember that? I actually thought that was going to be a villain, like a actual narrative point of this season, but it turned out to be Jack shit. And same with other things, Lucifer being the king of heaven being something, Asmodeus being a villain, he just, like, he was useless for one, just a, this Kentucky Fried Chicken dude, and then he is blown away. Admittedly, while the season did have really lazy and very melodramatic retconning, the narrative itself with Jack was definitely one of the higher stakes. It definitely kept me invested in that narrative. Even when we got reintroduced to Mary, who no one gives a shit about, that actually kept it going in terms of a very good narrative purpose. There were some filler episodes even that I liked. There was that Dark Net one, which I kind of had a weird thought about, like as it was a cool idea that monsters could buy humans online, but how do you, you know, transport this stuff without it being you know, seen by the UPS guy, or at least very well smelled. Also, the bad place was wasted. Another narrative aspect that was ruined, that was just dropped, because like, they ended the, the mid-season finale with that. It looked like they were gonna fight dinosaurs, and they're boom, they're gone. However, that did introduce the Wayward Sisters group, which I actually did like that episode. I did not mind it, and the fact that it's not gonna get picked up is admittedly disappointing, because this was a much better spin-off idea than the original spin-off idea they tried back in like season 9 or something. Episode 15 had that really cool L.A. Noir th uh, sort of story because they were trying to get the blood of a holy man and there was that uh, Italian priest character who was really good. He was probably one of the best one-off characters that they ever had introduced. I really hope he comes back but I know he won't. But really, he was one of the best one-episode characters that the show has had in a long time. 
then they ruined it with that really, really cheesy kind of shootout and the really bad editing. But otherwise, that episode was actually really good. And in terms of how the narrative was progressing, while the episodes were definitely getting lower ratings in the final half of the season, at least the narrative was still going in a good direction, even if that Gabriel crap was bullshit. Now, I've talked about it many a time, but really, that Gabriel retconning was not good. It was very lazy. I know a bunch of you guys are like, ooh, he's the trickster. It's like, no, guys. That's what emotional weight, that's what emotional loss is supposed to mean to this show. And this show just keeps on erasing that. Because it's sad? I don't understand. Like, you... This isn't how things are. You should have to deal with loss. And shows should be able to work around that or just end on a good note. So, I'm never going to be happy with that Gabriel retconning. I'm never going to forgive that because it was really bad writing. And in the end, what did they do? They killed him. Which is funny because they eventually killed Lucifer. Which, by the way, that fight is still one of the cheesiest fucking fights of all time. It was a cool setup. But admittedly, there's a lot of plot holes in that season finale that I didn't really notice until thinking about it later. Michael's from a different dimension, so why is Dean his vessel? And how does he even know about it? Because De Sam and Dean never existed in this alternative universe. When they fought each other, it was supposed to be this battle of immense chaos and immense destruction and all that was destroyed was a pew table. And some people were like, well, it wasn't exactly the right vessels. Apparently, this was super-powered Lucifer because he had Jax Grace, who is pow more powerful than Lucifer. So, no, no, I, I won't excuse how really silly that ending was. But aside from all these negatives, the episodes still flowed decently, and like I said, the first half of the season was actually really decent. There was a lot of fives, a lot of fours, there was even a few sixes. There was not a single seven in this entire season, and there was actually some sevens in 12, and I hated season 12 in terms of its narrative. The filler episodes actually weren't that bad, but that's kind of bad when the main narrative is second nature compared to the filler one-off episodes. So in terms of its narrative weakness, but with its narrative strengths, as well as the one-off episodes being decent, whereas not really being as cool of filler episodes as previous seasons, they were still decent episodes, and while the narrative was weak, it at least kept it going. But now I've added up all the numbers and everything, and the funny thing is I'm kind of in the same situation I was with 12. In 12, honestly, I would have given that season a lot less rating, because I did not like that season at all. And in terms of this season, it's not that much better, really. It just had a better narrative, but not by much. There's not a lot to say to that. So in the end, I'm actually just going to go with the exact same thing I gave Season 13, because while Season 13 had a better, better narrative structure, the amount of retconning and absolutely lazy writing cannot be excused. So I'm going to give Season 13 a 3 out of 7. It has some decent episodes here and there. It had some really engaging uh, aspects. It had some one-off things that were eventually dropped, however. It had some retconning that had no purpose of being there. And it just had a really not that woo of a season finale, again. But that's the thing that Supernaturals had an issue with the last few seasons. I think the last good season finale, in my opinion, is 10. Actually, yeah, I think it's 10. Anyways, guys. I well, hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it didn't piss all of you off. I will be having a video later on talking about just what I feel the mentality of the supernatural universe is right now. But that's not going to be for a little while. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you want to, subscribe. I'll possibly be continuing on with Supernatural Season 14. We'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I'll see you next time.